Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to reset your internet connection. So this should be a pretty quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by left clicking on the start button at one time. And you want to proceed to type in CMD. And the best match underneath programs that it comes up should say CMD. You want to right click on it and then proceed to left click on run as administrator. And if you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. So now in this elevated command line window, you want to type in NET SH space INT space IP, another space reset, and then you want to hit enter. Since I've already reset it without restarting the computer, that's why it says there's no user specified settings to be reset. However, in most cases, it should say that it reset the interface OK, and it'll say to restart the computer to complete this action. And we're going to do the same thing for the Winsock catalog, and I'm just going to put it out there that I'm probably going to get a similar message for that. But I'm just going to forewarn you guys. But as long as you type it incorrectly, it should work regardless of where Windows is installed on your computer. So if it's on the C drive, D drive, the drive label doesn't really matter is the point I'm getting to. So the next thing you want to do is type in N-E-T-S-H space Winsock. So W-I-N-S-O-C-K. Another space reset. And you want to hit enter. And this time, it actually will say successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete this reset. Recommend restarting after you've completed both of these. So restart your computer, and hopefully the issue has been resolved. You've reset your internet connection at least. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to have an internet connection when you restart your computer. We're just resetting it, basically. So hopefully it'll work for you guys in your troubleshooting endeavors and as always thank you for watching this tutorial i hope it helped you out and i look forward to catching you in the next video goodbye